in a world of exploring and discovering new exoplanets. Scientists have discovered a Mercury-like exoplanet where a year is only an eight-hour day. That means the planet spins so fast around its star. One year on that planet is eight hours to us. A new exoplanet GJ367b has been discovered where a year amounts to only eight days. It is believed to be a rocky planet like Mercury. It has just half the mass of Earth. GJ367b also belongs to the ultra short period SU. USP group as exoplanet that orbit their star in less than 24 hours. Science tip have discovered a new exoplanet where time flies super quick on planet J GJ36b, a year equals to only eight hours as compared to 365 days on Earth. The newly discovered planet is also to believe and have rocky surface like Mercury. Planet GJ367b was discovered by scientists at the German Astrospace Center, DLR, Institute of Planetary Research. This planet is said to be featherweight as it has just half the mass of Earth. It's also expected to be one of the lightest among almost 5,000 exoplanets discovered so far. It has a diameter of just over 9,000 kilometers, making it slightly larger than Mars. Since it takes the exoplanet around 8 hours to orbit its parent star, that's how much a year would equal on this planet. Can you imagine an eight hour day is one year on the exoplanet that was just discovered? GJ367b also belongs to the ultra short period USP group of exoplanets that orbit their star in less than 24 hours. Scientists have discovered similar exoplanet as GJ367b but their origins are still unknown. It's like rewriting the science books. It's like going back to high school. Because since I left high school in the 80s, we have discovered so much about space that we didn't know about. It's like we all have to be re-educated in space studies now. Because we're making new discoveries every month and every year of every month. It seems to have similarities to Mars. I apologize. It seems to have similarity to Mercury. This planet is among the sub Earth sized terrestrial planets and brings research one step forward in the search for a second Earth, says Scrummer Kristen Lamb in a statement. Upon researching the planet GJ367b, was found to be a low mass rocky planet which is more dense than Earth and with priorities similar to those of Mercury. The planet Prosperity also reveals that it's exposed to a high level of radiation, 500 times more than what Earth is experiencing. This also means that the surface temperature on GJ367b could reach up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit which not only make living here impossible for humans, but rocks and metals would also easily be melted. In terms of the distance from Earth, planet GJ367b is 31 light years, which according to the scientists, makes it ideal for future investigation. 
This discovery also expands the capabilities of finding out more about exoplanets, even those that could be the smallest and the least massive exoplanets. We have discovered so much. Just think about it. We just discovered an exoplanet. That is like Mercury. But it's so hot that rocks and metals will melt on it. We did not know that exoplanet existed. This is December 2021. We did not know that exoplanet existed in June of 2021. We might have spotted it. It was a short take. We got a better focus of it. It came into our Milky Way galaxy a little bit more. But we didn't know anything about it until now. So how can you put your hands or your fingers on saying there's no existence of life but us if it's so much we don't know? It'll be easy for scientists and astronomers to say, I don't know. But instead of saying, I don't know, they will say the only form of life is us. Well, we didn't know this new planet was out there. Do you know how much we don't know about this small galaxy, the Milky Way we live in, the Milky Way galaxy? Where did this exoplanet come from? Was it always lurking in the dark here in the Milky Way? Or did it very slowly over all these light years come to the Milky Way galaxy from a much larger galaxy? Or maybe it came to the Milky Way galaxy from a much smaller galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy somehow pulled it into our galaxy and we just not spotted it because not this generation not my daughter Julia generation who's 18 years old but say 100 years from now maybe 200 years from now when this exoplanet is further studied with more technology than what we have today I can fully put my finger on it and say this exoplanet is not 100,000 years old I would say this exoplanet is billions of years old also, just like this Earth we live on. Because we just have discovered the mean it was a planet that was just formed 100,000 years ago. It was a planet that was discovered and formed billions of years ago that we just not discovered because we didn't know it was out there. We just didn't know. And maybe it spins so fast that in an eight hour day, it's one year on that planet because the galaxy that that planet was coming from headed over there at a faster rate its star because the galaxy that it came from is a much faster paced galaxy than what the Milky Way galaxy have our planets orbit our stars and maybe over time like I said 100 years 200 years that same planet that was just discovered by the Germans aerospace research will slow down and spin at a slower pace instead of having one year in eight hours it be similar to earth one year in 365 days there's so much out there we have not discover there's so much out there we do not know Astronomers find two supermassive black holes, the nearest ever to Earth, ever discovered are merging into a monster. Astronomers said they found two supermassive black holes, the nearest pair to Earth ever discovered, that are merging into a single monster. The Cosmo couple was located 89 million light years away from Earth in a galaxy of NGC 7727 according to a study in the journal um, Astro and Astrophysics. Science tests measure the mass of each black hole by watching how the pair's gravity affect the movement of nearby stars. Observations using the European Southern Observation Very Large Telescope revealed the black holes was just 1,600 light years from each other in the sky a tiny distant relative. The small separation of the two black holes indicate that
that they will merge into one monster black holes probably within the next 250 million years. We all are safe. We'll be all long gone by then. The largest black holes contain a mass of 154 million suns. While the smaller partner is, a, is still whopping at 6.3 million solar masses. No, these two black holes are no danger to us. I think we'll all be long gone in 250 million years. And then again, in 250 million years, this Earth will need a shock in the other way. Because in 250 million years, I don't believe it will, it will be life on this Earth anyway. I think the planets that we are in exploring, like Mars and other places we are exploring, will be the new homes for the future humanity life. I think that's what they're doing right now, seeing what planet will be suitable for life in the near future because scientists and astronomers and professors of MIT's and all these brainiacs, they might come off to us as being weird or creepy or they really don't give us much information. But in the long run, they know their jobs are, they wouldn't have those jobs. And they know more about this planet than what we know. And they might see that in the next 5,000 years, I'm guessing, this planet won't be suitable for human life no way. Maybe that's why we explore so many other planets looking for past life. I think that's just a term they use with us. They're looking for past life. In the long run, I think they're looking for life in the future. Can we make these planets suitable for the next generation? Hundreds of exoplanets have been discovered thanks to NASA new machine. When X minor say something is a planet you can be sure it's a planet researcher say. A new machine by NASA say that existence of 100 new exoplanets in the Milky Way galaxy have been confirmed with the help of machine learning. Exoplanets are planets that absorb a star outside the solar system. All known and possible exoplanets have so far only been observed in the Milky Way galaxy, often with 3,000 light years of Earth. NASA on Monday announced scientists recently added 301 exoplanets to the total tally of known exoplanets, increasing the total discovery to 4,569. The confirmation of the far away planet is thanks to a new deep neutron network called ExoMiner that utilized NASA supercomputer and data from the Kepler spacecraft. Deep neutron networks are machine learning methods that automatically learn a task when provided with enough data according to the space agency. NASA say X Minor supplies experts who carry out the time consuming work of combining those massive data sets took in from Kepler spacecraft to determine what is and isn't a planet. X Minor is able to distinguish real exoplanets from imposters with imposters exoplanets and learn by using path confirmation exoplanets in false positive cases. NASA say the 301 planets were detected by Kepler's, but scientists were unable to validate them as planets until X minor were utilized. Now we have a computer system telling us the difference between an imposter exoplanet that's just basically just, I guess, just rocks and ice that's all crumbled together than real exoplanet. And I think when they say the NASA space computer exominer, they're looking for a exoplanet that orbit its own star. They always say exoplanet orbit their own stars like Earth and other planets have their own star. We call ours the moon. But like I said in the other videos, we gave all these planets these real fancy names for their planet, the moon. We just call ours the moon. 
we didn't really care much about our moon. We didn't care if it was a first class moon or a third class moon. We just said it's the moon. It was a planet that just let us see the front side of it. We never see the rear side. We just call our moon the moon. We can call him Jeffrey the moon. We can call him Os Oscar the moon. But we just call ours the moon. Maybe we should name our moon. Our new, new moon name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey the moon that orbit the planet Earth. We learn so much daily that we didn't know before. That's why life right now is not at the end. No matter what people say, these are the last days. We don't have so many days ahead of us. These are the sunny days. These are the pleasure days. These are the days of paradise. These are the fantastic days, fabulous days. You know, we're a long way from the last days. These are days that will be charted down in history as we discover more than what we ever discovered before. And please continue to watch Semi Video Plus and listen to Semi Video Plus audio to learn more as I learn more also. And please help me support Lyme Disease and the Cancer and the Heart Foundation. Now, if you want to lose weight in the new year of 2022 and you want to just look good for yourself or someone else, you should try the new protein powder shakes that I try, Juice Plus. Juice Plus have worked for so many customers from European countries like Spain and Poland to the United States. You should get Juice Plus a try. If you want to lose weight, you can leave me a comment or email me, and I'll pass your information on to the person that signed me up for Juice Plus. And I love their dust chocolate and fresh vanilla shakes and their vitamin pills I take daily. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Semi Video Plex and Semi Video Plex Audio. Today is December 2021. We're about three weeks away from saying Happy New Year's 2022. And we have a new spring of the coronavirus. And remember, I told you in 2020, we will be saying that word coronavirus in the year of 2023. And I will not give you false information yet. I have not in no way gave you a field false information. I told you it was placed on my heart that the coronavirus will be here in 2023. And this new coronavirus screen that just came around from South Africa will be here in the year 2022 and 2023. And just like this coronavirus screen that came from South Africa lapsed over the Delta Cola virus. We're still talking about the Delta Cola virus and another screen lapped right on top of it. There will be another screen of coronavirus that lapped on top of this coronavirus that we just discovered. In the year 2023, we're going to still be saying that word, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. In the year 2023, you can, you can go to the video plans archive that said this podcast host was telling us it was coming in December 2019. And how do you know four years later, we'll be living it because it was placed on my heart. It was placed on my heart to become a podcast host. It was time for me to become the person I was born to be. My name is Sammy. You in the zone. You in the media plexo. Thank you. Do Jean Bray, do Virginia, and Papa.